let's make sure this did not mess up. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If this is the first time you're here, I'm Tara, a family nurse practitioner that loves sharing easy to make recipes that are not only super delicious, but also healthy. I know you guys absolutely love using both your air fryers and your Instant Pot, but today we are using our Instant Pot. I love using my Instant Pot, I use it almost every day. How often do you use your Instant Pot? I would love to know in the comments below. We are continuing a new series we started last week called Better Than Takeout. You guys loved the chicken and broccoli we made last week inside of our Instant Pot. If you missed that episode, I will link it up in the cards and also in the description box below so you could check it out after this video. Today, we are making a sweet and sour chicken that is so incredibly delicious. We're gonna make the sweet and sour sauce from scratch. Guys, it is so easy to make, so much healthier, delicious, better than anything you could get at your local restaurant. We are also going to make the rice at the same time. I know you guys love when we make everything together inside of the Instant Pot because it's so incredibly easy. It is a one pot dinner. This recipe makes enough for two servings. Feel free to double the recipe. Keep the time the same if you have a larger family to feed. If you're excited for our new Better Than Takeout series, give this video a big thumbs up, grab your Instant Pot, and let's make this delicious sweet and sour chicken. <laughs> To make this go super quickly, let's get the rice ready now. I'm using a short grain rice today and I'm just putting the rice in a bowl with some cold water just to show you guys how much starch actually comes out when you do this. And then I am rinsing this rice at least three to four times. Now I'm adding equal parts of rice and water and look, no starch is left in my water. We're gonna set this aside Next, we're gonna grab our pineapple and cherries out of the freezer. Of course, if you're using fresh, you don't have to grab it out of the freezer. I set them aside. Then we're gonna grab our Instant Pot. I'm drinking this delicious dry red. I'm gonna add in that avocado oil. You can also use coconut oil or canola oil, any kind of neutral oil. And I showed this hack the last time, guys. It's so easy. Pick the liner up, twirl it around. It gets the oil evenly distributed on the bottom. Now I'm using one large chicken breast and I'm just cutting it into cubes, bite-sized pieces. You could also use chicken tenders like I used last week or even thighs, that works also. Once the Instant Pot is hot, add in the chicken. I did not have to do this in batches because I'm only using one chicken breast. If you're using more than one, you might need to do it in batches. We're gonna add a little bit of pepper and some salt. I highly believe in seasoning as you go so that you could build the flavors of the dish. Once you get some color on it, it doesn't have to be fully cooked, we're gonna add in our orange juice. I wanted to use pineapple juice, I didn't have any, so I used orange juice, guys. It turned out so delicious. That being said, use pineapple juice if you prefer. After you deglaze the bottom of the pot, put in your trivet, add in that bowl of rice and water that's ready to go. Close the lid, make sure that silicone ring is on, guys. Press cancel on the Instant Pot, of course. Make sure that it is set to sealing. We're gonna cook it for four minutes and allow 10 minutes of natural pressure. We're gonna get the rest of the pressure out by doing a quick release and then open up the lid. This took almost no time at all to cook. I love making something like this during the work week. And then very carefully, I had a hard time with this one because this is my Instant Pot Mini. My bowl of rice barely fit inside of the Instant Pot. Now we're gonna add in the pineapple, cherries. We're gonna add in that soy sauce, plum vinegar. You could also use fig vinegar or champagne vinegar, any kind of vinegar that you like. Ketchup, that's right, just plain old tomato ketchup. I'm using monk fruit sweetener today. You could also use regular sugar if you prefer. 
And today I decided to thicken this sauce, so I'm doing that with a tapioca slurry. Alternatively, use cornstarch. Mix that up in a little bowl first and then add it to the Instant Pot. Then you need to press cancel and set it back to saute on high. After tasting it, I decided to add a little bit of coconut sugar. Be sure to taste it so it's the perfect sweetness for you. This sweet and sour chicken was so delicious. Question of the day, do you prefer your sweet and sour chicken to be breaded and fried or air fried or do you prefer it the way we made it today? I would love to know in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's super easy sweet and sour chicken, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That way I will know to make more recipes like it. I put together a playlist of some of my favorite better than takeout recipes. I'm gonna leave right here on the screen if you'd like to check those out. YouTube is gonna leave a video they think you will really enjoy right here on the screen. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday as we continue our better than takeout series. Bye guys.